Great to be back. This is HLN News Now. I'm Mike Alanos. Let's get to it with this story. And a man uh, that really parents trusted with their kids. He's sitting in jail. He's charged with raping a child. And what he does for a living, that might shock you. He's a gymnastics coach. At least two students in two different states have pointed the finger at 39-year-old Sandro Ramos. And authorities are now wondering if there could be more alleged victims. All right. Oklahoma authorities say Ramos allegedly raped one of his students in his home. He denies it. Now, South Carolina authorities have issued a warrant for Ramos and a plan to extradite him. The charge, criminal sexual conduct with a minor under the age of 16. Back in Oklahoma, an affidavit states that Ramos first told investigators the alleged victim threatened to report that he raped her if he did not send her text messages and tell her that he loved her. Now, he denied both texting the girl or having any kind of sexual contact with her. But in another interview, Ramos reportedly admitted that the girl had a crush on him and he was flattered by that. Ramos told police he text messaged her advising that he quote unquote wanted to make love to her. The affidavit states Ramos admitted the texting got out of hand but denies again having any sexual contact with her. I'm joined now by HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks, also with a psychologist, Dr. Judy Ho. Uh, and again, this is a trust issue, you know, in so many ways, Judy. I'll, I'll start there. It's a trust issue between this, you know, a gymnast, a young gymnast and coach, and also between parents and coach. Let's start, though, with the alleged victims. And what kind of trust does a young girl have in a coach, especially in, in an intense sport like gymnastics? Well, it has everything to do with trust, like you just said, Mike, and a young girl and the relationship between her and her coach is almost a sacred relationship. I mean, that person is really responsible in bringing you up in a way that will help you to compete. It's supposed to be helping you to reach your best potential. And I think we're all educated as children that, you know, if something bad happens to you, you can talk to an adult. And these adults, trusted adults, include parents and teachers. And so almost every type of sexual abuse prevention program involves the teachers as a trusted individual. And unfortunately, we're hearing more and more now that that's not the case, that the teachers are taking advantage of their relationships with these young people. Right, and manipulating, and we haven't heard any of that yet, but that's kind of been the, uh, the, the mode that we've seen. All right, my couple of things with, with, yeah. with you. How do you investigate this when you're now you're backtracking here to South Carolina, Oklahoma? What, what's involved in an investigation like well, this? Well, they've got the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation, a, a fine law enforcement. That's the, that's the state law enforcement uh, investigative group for Oklahoma. They've also got SLED, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. But, Mike, keep in mind also, he also apparently used to teach gymnastics in Florida. So if I'm these two agencies, I'm going to go back to Florida to find out what was ha going on with him down there? You know, it, it's interesting, the name of his shop in Hugo, Oklahoma, Gymnastics and More. Uh, no, I, I, when, I, when I read that, I went, are you kidding right. me? But, uh, but going back to Simpsonville, South Carolina, you know, that, uh, they want to try to extradite him back there. So, I mean, he, I don't, I, if, he, if he did it once in South Carolina, he did it once in Oklahoma, who'd you say he might not have done that, it down in Florida? That's a sad reality. I want to read a quote to both of you guys. Judy, I'll start with you. This is from a dad who knew this guy, saying, he's warm. Friendly, outgoing, loves kids. All my children loved him. I would trust mm. my kid with him to go anywhere. I mean, that's that's the kind of trust we have as a parent with a coach, right? Absolutely. And he has so many disarming qualities, warm qualities that will probably draw both adults and children to him, just like in this uh, this father's testimony. And so that's really more of the concern is that. We, we really don't have a face of a perpetrator anymore. It's not like what you see in the movies, that they're kind of creepy looking. It's not like know, that at all. The perpetrators that we see are often these very friendly, disarming types who seem like they want the best for your children. That's a great word, disarming. Mike, is there anything, and we're, we're not trying to beat up any of no, the parents no, anywhere, but is there not. anything a parent can do to do any kind of homework when we're trusting our kids with coaches or teachers of any kind? Well, this guy was on the, on the Oklahoma gymnastics board, Mike. You know, so, you know, he was on the board uh, you know, of and sets up maybe security, you know, for when you do background checks, that kind of thing. But you just, you just, I, I, you know, Mike, I find it hard to trust anybody nowadays. Isn't that it seems a like sad fact? Oh, it really man. is. All right. Judy, Mike, guys, thanks again yeah. so much. We'll keep on top of that one for you.